previously on the bill. The DCI's just patted me on the back for saving Eva's neck and getting Madison back. So Eva does all the hard work and you take the credit. Marie, how'd you get the bruises? The reason your Phil isn't bothered about becoming a dad is because he is one already. Ready, Nick? Yeah. Jim looks like he's had a rough night on the sofa. Did you hear about Marie? No, what? Tony and Honey rested her for drunk and disorderly. She spent an afternoon in the cells. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm uh, looking for Jim. What's all this in aid of? Oh, it's um, Cass Rickman's memorial. She was a young PC. She... Murdered by that serial killer. Yeah, I know. Poor soul. So, um, how are you feeling today? Oh, awful. Yesterday, it was a year ago since Sonia died and I'm, uh, I was in a mess. I'm so sorry, Marie. I, I just didn't realise. Jim was furious about me. Mm -hmm. What are you doing in? Um, excuse me. Uh, you've got a brain like a sieve. You, you forgot this. You've got some front, especially after what happened yesterday. Lighten up, Jim. Everyone gets drunk now and again. Thought you'd have known that better than anyone. When Cass was killed, I, I thought I'd lost her forever. But I hadn't, because she left me with a true sense of what's important in life. Friendship, loyalty, and um, being able to do the right thing. If I can do that, then I'll never lose her. She'll always be with me. I know Cass would have been made up with all this. She loved working with you, Loss. And I know you thought a lot of her. And now, there's a little piece of Sun Hill that is forever Cass. Thanks. See you later. Not going to say goodbye then. I'm so sorry, Marie. Goodbye. See ya. Stuck up cow. See you, Oscar from five four. I'm on scene. Hello. Sierra Oscar from 5-4. I've got a female victim bound and gagged. Suspect may still be on the premises. Assistance required. Stand by. Everything's going to be all right. Oh, Are you hurt? Oh, my husband, please. I think he's killed my husband. You're going to be okay. Julian! I'm all right. Please, I don't want my wife to see me like this. I don't want an ambulance. I don't need an ambulance. Honestly, officer, it's a lot of fuss over nothing. Julian, you've been beaten up. I'd feel much better Look, if stop you... worrying. I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. I'm D.S. McAllister. Who's he? He's a crime scene examiner. He'll collect any evidence. Well, there's no need. <laughs> Nothing of any value has been taken. Neither of us are harmed. <laughs> Sorry. I... It must be the shock. My head's still spinning. I think I need some fresh air. Can you take Mrs. Walker outside, please? Yes, I can. <laughs> What are we looking at? Well, aggravated burglary. I mean, they were both tied up and gagged. Nice. She was downstairs, he was upstairs. Do you think she'll be okay? 
Well, I reckon she will, but I'm not sure about him. I mean, he can't wait to see the back of us. No sign of forced entry. All the doors are locked, windows. Then how did the burglar get in? Any idea of how long you'll be? Only I'm uh, due back in the surgery in an hour. We'll try not to keep you too long, Dr Walker. There's loads of stuff that hasn't been touched. You got the telly, DVDs. I mean, he's taking a right good hiding yet. He's cracking on like everything's hunky dory. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be showing any concern for what his wife might be going through. There's something he doesn't want to tell us. Maybe he'll be more willing to talk without his wife listening in. As I say, he just stared at me. Well, did he threaten you? He was calm. Controlled. What happened next? He said to sit down. Said he wasn't going to hurt me. Are you OK to carry on with this? He tied me up, gagged me, and then he sat down opposite. And we waited. Waited? It was almost as if he was waiting for Julian to come home. Can't see he's taken anything of any real value. Look, it's vital that you tell us exactly what's been taken because it might help us track him down. Well, he missed the best of. That would have fed his habit for a long time, worth a small fortune. What made you think he was an addict? Aren't they always? How long were they upstairs for? There was some banging. Furniture falling. It sounded like fighting. Look, are you sure you don't want to get yourself checked out? <laughs> I am a doctor. I don't need to queue for three hours in some grotty A&E to be told I've got a few cuts and bruises. <laughs> was it definitely 15 minutes? Two, three minutes at the most. So how did you get those bruises on your face? I wasn't exactly cooperative. When he was tying you up, you mean? Mm. So then what happened? Uh, rummaged through the other rooms, uh, came back, uh, asked if I had any cash. And did you? About 30 pounds on my dressing table. Do you usually wear a wedding ring? Can't even remember him taking it. Is there anything else you need to tell me? Uh, no, no, there isn't. Well, how about a description? I mean, how tall would you say it was? Oh, about, uh, five eight, five nine. Over six foot. Powerful build. He had a tattoo on his arm, a Celtic band. Can you remember what he was wearing? T-shirt, jeans. He should have been wearing something to hide his face. Didn't care I could see him. Strange. Right, shaven head. Blue eyes. Any accent? London. Stop any time you want, Rebecca. He said Julian. He actually used his name. Get a cutting gear. Looks like one of the cars collided with oncoming traffic. One fatality, two badly injured. Gabriel, take over here, will you? I'm back. 15 compressions, two breaths. Go on, let's do it. Let me know if you want me to take over. Come on. Here. Come on! Stop, stop! Come on, Gabriel, stop. come on! Gabriel! Stop. Anything else we can help you with, please get in touch. We will. Um, it's just one thing. Dr. Walker, your wife said the burglar knew your name, actually used it when he spoke to her. How would he know that? 
Phone book. Uh, could have read my mail. It's there on the table. Have you accounted for all your house keys? I lost the set. You didn't mention that to me. When? Uh, about three days ago, after I'd done a house call. Uh, along with my wallet. Right, well, that would explain how he got in and how he knew your name. Do you remember the name of the patient, the one you visited on his house call? I'm, I'm sorry, uh... There should be a record of it at the surgery. Well, what about um, your wallet? Were there any bank cards or credit cards? No. Yes, yes, it did. Did you notify the bank? Uh, yes. Well, in that case, with your permission, we'd like to do a trace on those cards because it's more than likely the thief used them since and it might help us find him. Look, is all this absolutely necessary? Well, Dr Walker, you do want us to catch this man, don't you? I do. I'm looking forward to seeing him in court. So you lost your wallet and your keys three days ago and you didn't think to change the locks? Look, I'm, I'm under quite a bit of pressure at work. I, I meant to sort it out, but I do know how it is. Of course. Thanks for your time. The girlfriend's going to be on a life support machine. Boyfriend stinks of booze, and he's the only one who's going to come out of this without a scratch. Where's the justice in that, eh? How are we going to notify her next again? Carries a donor card. Edith Jordan. Got a son's contact number on the back. You want to give the telephone company a call, find out his address? Gabriel, are you up for this? Why don't you let me do it? Thanks. Fine. Don't beat yourself up about it. You did everything you could. It's like they've been in two different houses. He says one thing, she says something else. Lost his wallet and keys. The burglar knew his name. He's covering something. And did you see his face just then? Mm. Look, maybe I should go and talk to him again. You wouldn't get much out of him, but thanks for your help, Smithy. But this is a CID case from now. Uh, hang on. I could be a lot of use to you in this. Yeah, you've been a lot of use so far. Um, it'll take more to a man than he will to a woman. OK, so what have you established so far? That there's been a burglary, that he was beaten and tied, and that's it. Now, I'm sure even a woman could have found that much out. You didn't see the look on his face when I found him? Yeah, embarrassed, you said. Now, I've seen that more than a few times, Smithy. Uh, so what? We let it go? What is this all about, Smithy? I mean, for what it's worth, I agree. Something has happened. But if he doesn't want our help, then we can't force him to accept it. There was a look in his eyes. I've seen it before. I think he was raped. Maybe you're right. Until he is prepared to admit it, then there is nothing we can do. You've got to learn to walk away, Smithy. For your own sake and his. Thanks. It was planned. The burglar waited specifically for Dr Walker to return home and then he took him upstairs. He knew his target. Now, I know there's little evidence to support my opinion, but put it down to instinct, sir. Or experience. Mickey Webb, is that why you're so keen to stay on this case? I'm a police officer, and I believe that a serious crime may have been committed. And it wasn't Mickey's case. If Dr Walker needs support, I want him to know he can rely on me to provide it. This is about correcting your perceived mistakes regarding Mickey Webb, some sort of atonement. And I strongly advise you against staying attached to this case. I can connect with Dr Walker. At the moment, he's in so much shock, he's shut down. Sir, I really don't want to walk away from this one. Debbie. I'd like Sergeant Smith to stay with the Walker case. Sir? He's built up a relationship with the doctor. Well, with all due respect, sir, I'd hardly call that a relationship. With all due respect, you need all the help you can get. Dr Walker deserves that opportunity. In future, Smithy, when I make a decision regarding a CID case, I'd like you to give me the professional courtesy and not question that. I wasn't questioning it. You were wrong. So how do you think the burglar knew the doctor's name? One of his patients? Yes, yeah, possible. Someone with a grudge. Well, why don't I shoot down to his surgery and check his house calls? Yeah, OK, but don't push him, because he'll clam up. If he's got something to say, let him tell you in his own time. But if I am right, and he has been raped, he'll need support, won't he? Lucky him.
Dr. Walker's call-out log is confidential. All I want is to confirm where the doctor was called to last Wednesday. I'm sorry. Dr. Surgery. That's fine. I I'll tell him now. Thanks. Bye. Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to help your boss here, the man that pays your wages. And I'm trying to save a little bit of time and energy by getting all the information I need here and now. Do you think that'd be possible? Can I see your ID again? You can take a photocopy of it if you want. Well, there aren't any house calls for the day the doctor gave me. Which means there weren't any house calls made. Well, could you have made a mistake, not logged it in? I log the calls. I don't make mistakes. Something I can help you with, Sergeant? Um, I'm trying to find out where you uh, might have lost your keys, sir. Well, I didn't lose them in here, did I? I'm trying to get some new leads. Other officers are doing checks on your cards. And I'm just trying to establish where and when you lost them. I understand that. But in future, could you give us some notice? I do have a practice to run. Of course, cool, sir. Thanks for your help. Nice to know the NHS is in such safe hands. Excuse me. Doctor surgery. Of course, that's that's fine. We'll see you later then. Looks like our doc subscribes to quite a few interesting sites here. Look. Ooh, this one might require some research. Yeah, he's got quite a taste for entertainment of an adult nature, hasn't he? Dirty doctor and triple X porn site shocker. Yeah, counting you to be sensitive, Sarge. Yeah, well, mind you, but when he's feeling slightly behind par, he just writes himself a prescription for Viagra. When was it Dr. Walker said he'd lost that wallet? Last Wednesday on a house call. Only, according to his records, he wasn't on a house call. Now, why is he lying? That's what I want to know. A hotel room was booked on his credit card last Saturday. Well, I'll go and I'll see if I can get any more information on that card. How did things seem between the doctor and his wife? It's strained. Odd, given what they'd just been through. Oh, well, do you reckon she's got any idea about this? He took out a subscription to this site, Romeo's. It's a kind of cyber dating agency. You log on, find someone who tickles your fancy, and away you go. And the thing is, it's all Romeo's. It's no Juliet's. <laughs> There's something I need to tell you. I told Cindy Hunter about Phil's kit. What the hell did you do that for? Call it balancing the books. As long as he's got that knife, he's got one over on us. Yeah, Nick, the operative word there being us. All right, Phil Hunter stitched us both up. He's gone and told his wife he's been playing away. We are both dead meat. I'll tell you something, Sherlock Cameron. He tampered with evidence and we had to let him get away with it, right? So from now on, whenever Phil Hunter wants a favour doing, he's going to click his fingers and you and me are going to both have to go running. Right, so to get your own back, you go and tell his wife he's got a kid to another woman. Nice work, Nick. I'm sure Cass would be really proud of you. Then. Don't you dare bring Cass into this. Come on, The only reason you told Sidney is because you hate Phil, so don't take the moral high ground with me. All right. Now you keep dragging me into this, and it is bang out of order. Uh, all right, um, I, I, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this right. I'm going to go and see Cindy. I'm going to tell her that I was, I, I was lying, that I didn't mean to. I just made it out because I'm... Hello, ladies. Was that my ears burning? So what's the matter with you? I feel like someone's just dying. Today was Cass Rickman's memorial, Sarge. Nice work, mate. <clears throat> Gabriel, haven't you gone there? What's the problem? Nothing. It's fine. It obviously isn't. How do you do it? Hmm? How do you stand there telling someone that kind of news? Oh, I thought you'd covered all that in your training. Sure. Standing face to face with another cop I know that ain't real. But you've delivered a death message before. Yeah, but that was with Des. Anyway, this is different. Why is it different? I'm on my way. J J hang on a minute, hang on. I'm gonna come with you. No, no. I've got it now, just being stupid. Gabriel, I'll see you in the car park, all right? 
I've just been to the hotel for the security tanks. Check these out from the CCTV. What's Dr Walker doing there? He said he had his card stolen before this. Or well, maybe he's got some sort of scam going on, stolen credit cards or something. Who's this other geezer? I don't know, but this tattoo matches the description of the burglar that Mrs Walker gave to us. Well, if this geezer is the burglar, then why didn't Julian say he knew it? Well, maybe he didn't want him found. Is your wife at home? Uh, she's on her way back from work. What's this all about? Are you all right? Would you like to sit down? Um, I'm afraid that, uh, that earlier today, this afternoon... What is it? What's wrong? I'm afraid, um, I'm afraid that... Mr Jordan, I'm so sorry. Well, what is it? Is it my wife? The kids? Are, are the kids all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, please, what is it? Is it Mum? Dad? It's your mum. Mr. Jordan, it's, uh, it's your mother and father. I'm afraid they've been involved in an accident. Thanks for seeing this, Doctor. We've been tracing payments made by your stolen card and found one transaction signed by yourself on Saturday the 22nd of this month. No, I can't remember offhand. Well, we've got this hotel CCTV footage. Is you and another man. Maybe your wife could identify him. Would it be possible to talk to you alone? His name is Graham Wells. He's the man who raped me. Isn't that what you've been waiting to hear, Sergeant? Do you know where I can find him? No idea. Did you meet him through an internet chat room? I want you to investigate the burglary, nothing else, just that. The rest is between me and you. There are details I need to establish. You know the way out, Sergeant. You OK? I was wondering where you got to. I ended up clearing my head. Get a bit of fresh air. Made a pig's ear of it. Sorry. Is there something you want to tell me? Like what? Like why you reacted quite so badly. I mean, I know it's not easy. I've had to deal with it more times than I care to remember. But if you've got a problem, talk to me. Why can't you just let it go? Because it's my job and because we can't afford to have a repetition of what just happened. All right. My parents died exactly the same way as those old people today. Car crash. That's why I had difficulty in handling the situation. And for that, I'd like to apologise. Happy now? Smithy says Dr. Walker refuses point blank to take any further action other than the burglary. Well, listen, once the rapist's been nicked, then maybe Smithy can convince the doctor to take it further. Well, I wouldn't put money on it. Thanks. Right. The hotel accountant said that somebody used a stolen credit card in the name of Graham Wells a few months back. Well, it sounds like our rapist could have nicked Graham Wells' credit cards. Right, we'll get an address for Wells, Smithy, from the credit card company and check him out. Eva? Keep me informed. Oh, yeah. You'll be the first one. Afternoon. I'm DC Sharp. This is Sergeant Smith from Sunhill. Is it possible to speak to Graham Wells, please? Yes, that's me. I was just wondering if it would be possible to ask you a few questions regarding your credit card that was stolen three months ago. Sure, yeah. How can I help? It might be better to do this in private, sir. Well, it's my son's birthday party, so... You believe the man that stole your wallet may also have been involved in an aggravated burglary? Yes. Yes, that's the man. You sure? 
Do you mind if we... Uh... If I'd have known, if you'd have been a bit more candid... What, you'd have taken me off the job? Yes. And where would that get us? Two people died. The next kid had to be informed that I was chosen to tell them. But if I'd have known... You did no... what you had to do. I was the one who failed on his duty, not you. You've got nothing to apologise for. But why don't I buy you a drink tonight? I thought you'd lay down the law. Okay. That from now on our relationship was to remain strictly professional. You know, I've just, I mean, as friends, I mean, just to do I'm that. busy tonight. Some other time then? Sure. The man who stole your cards. He broke into a house, he tied the man and his wife up, and then he raped them. Can I ask how your card was stolen? I, um, met this guy through an internet chat room. We went to a hotel and, uh, they started pushing me around, you know. So he'd ruin me if I didn't get what he wanted. Uh, yeah, just go straight in. Uh, doors are... And what was that? Money. Money. Stop my wallet. Credit cards. Was there anything with your name and address on the wallet? I mean, like a driver's licence? You say he pushed you around? Yeah, you know, started punching me and, uh... Well, I managed to fight him off, but... And he pulled a knife and slashed me, so, uh... Fifteen stitches. My wife thinks I was mugged. What else am I going to say? I'm not here to wreck your family life. And I'm not here to judge you. I don't even know the guy's name. Did he give you any idea where we lived? Telephone number? No, we only met the once. I mean, honestly, this was a one-off. Well, can you think of anything that might help us track him down? No, I'm sorry. OK. I'll let you get back to your family, but if you do think of anything, let me know. The guy that was raped, is he all right? No. Look, Mr Wells, I haven't got to explain to you how dangerous this man can be. So any information you've got, no matter how insignificant you think it is, it could really help us now. There might be something. You're late. Can I buy you a drink? So what have you got to tell me now? I wanted to put things straight. What I said, it was a lie. I'm going through hell with IVF and you tell me Phil's already got a kid. Well, like I said, I was lying. You still on drugs or what? No, I am not. Don't walk away from me. I haven't slept because of you. Why would you make something like that up? You don't know whether you're coming or going. I'm lying. I'm telling the truth. All right, all right. right. Graham Wells arranged to meet our suspect through the Romeo's chat room as well. All right, so it looks like our rapist is looking at easy targets, married men. Yeah, with plenty to wind. Uh, Mr Wells also confirmed that our suspect is the man that beat him up. Right, do you think Wells would be willing to give a new statement? Go and have his wife find out what he's been up to. No chance. Well, that's rich coming from you. Graham Wells said the man he met at the hotel was wearing a vest. Narcissus Jim, and he has a Celtic band tattooed on his right upper arm. Right, got an address? It's closed now, but we can go there first thing in the morning. Well, if our man is a member, we can find out his name and where he lives. Right, are you up for it? I think this is more of a man's job. All right, I'll do it. Come and sit down. <clears throat> sit down. All right, you're right. It is the truth. Phil does have a kid. You haven't asked him yet, have you? What's the point? He'll only deny it. I'll get you the proof you need. 
I'll organise a paternity test for him. Needn't know it'll take three weeks. And then what? Then it's up to you, but you need to know the kind of man your husband is. Why are you doing this? Because he is ruining people's lives. You're going to bring him down. I hope it feels good, Nick. Because I've got a really hard three weeks ahead of me. Dr Walker, sorry to just turn up like this. I did ring and leave a message, but you obviously didn't get it. I got it. I didn't want to reply to it. I am sick to death of the whole thing. It might be better if I come inside and we can talk in private. What is it you don't understand, Sergeant? I don't want to talk to you. We found another man. Assaulted by the same bloke. Oh, do you have to turn up on my doorstep with this kind of thing? My wife will ask questions. I understand your reluctance. You understand nothing. You were right. And if this happens to somebody else, then part of the responsibility of that falls squarely on your shoulders. I won't be bothering you again, sir. Why are you doing this to me? I thought you would have known the difference between a criminal and a victim, Sergeant. Vests aren't for sale, they're staff only. So anyone wearing one of these vests is likely to be staff or ex-staff. Look, if it's a vest you're after, I'm willing to bend the rules a bit. Look good on you. No, sorry, it's not my colour. Oh, I don't know. I think it looked great. You've got the shoulders for it. So, do you um, keep lists of all the names and addresses of your staff? Of course. I'll print you one off if you tell me what all this is about. Oh, there was an assault, a serious assault, and the assailant wore one of those vests. I mean, he has a tattoo with a Celtic band on his right arm. Dennis Till. What, you know him? Used to be a personal trainer here. Had a bit of an attitude. And a bit of a habit. What drugs? Steroids. He tried pushing him on the punters. There were a few complaints, so I sacked him. He beat me up. The man's dangerous. So you didn't take it any further? Come on. Gay man gets beaten up. It's hardly gonna be high on your list of priorities, is it? It'll be top of mine. Listen, would you be interested in taking it further? If you wear that. Oh, you can put it on now. Nah. Is it me? Is it getting hot in there? Mm. Look, no way. <laughs> oh, come on, mate. Right, where's your chunk? You got your statement. He's not been home all night. I've checked at the surgery. He's not there. Right. Come through here, Mrs. Walker. I don't understand what's happened. You mean with the burglary? He knew Julian's name. He had his wallet, his keys. How? Maybe he found them. Or stole them. I mean, your husband had reported them missing. Do you believe he'd forget to tell me he'd lost his wallet? Lose his keys and not change the locks? I don't. He's been avoiding me. Can't even bear to be in the same room. How long has this been going on for? Around the time he said he lost his wallet and keys. What's happening here? Well, he's under a terrible strain, you both are. I mean, after what you've been through. We need to get away. Need a break. There's so much pressure all the time. And your sergeant hasn't helped things. Sergeant Smith. He came back to the house yesterday. Julian and I had just started talking. Just started to try and put this whole thing into perspective. But after he spoke to that sergeant, Julian left. He must have said something to my husband. Something that upset him. I need to see the superintendent. I want to make a complaint. Thanks, my love. Just stick it on the table. Yeah? Well, whatever you said to Dr. Walker last night caused him to go AWOL. I was updating him on the investigation. Oh, well, I think you were pushing him, even though you'd already been told to back off by him and me. I was acting in his best interest. Oh, which is why he's gone missing, I suppose. You should never have gone around there last night. 
He's been through something most men, in fact, most women, couldn't even begin to comprehend. So what was I supposed to do? Just walk away? No, you just leave him alone. He doesn't want your help. But he doesn't know what he wants. You've got a sick way of earning your brownie points, Smithy. Harassing a man who's been raped, humiliated. That makes you almost as bad as the man that did it to him. Wait. Don't you dare. Oh. Is that how you've been conducting your interviews with Mr Walker? Well, no wonder you've been getting results. You know, your bully boy tactics don't work with me, Sergeant Smith. Now, I've spoken to the super about Mrs Walker's complaint. He wants to see you. Now. Dr. Walker has made his decision. You have to abide by that. He needs help. There are a lot of people out there who need our help. I suggest you direct your time and energy to those ones who are willing to accept it. Sir? The man's been raped. It'll take him a long time to even begin to come to terms with that. The last thing he needs is an officer pushing him to make decisions he's not ready to make. I'm trying to do the right thing. How? By forcing him to confess details of his private life? Prosecuting for rape? How would that help? I think it's high time you came to terms with what happened to Mickey Webb. Sir? It's obviously beginning to affect your judgment. Dr. Walker doesn't know what he's thinking. If that's the kind of sensitivity you applied to Mickey Webb, no wonder you're feeling guilty. Excuse me, sir, but I don't think that's got anything to do with it. Sergeant, a man is missing, and that's largely down to you. This conversation is over. That means you're to have nothing more to do with Dr. or Mrs. Walker. Is that clear? Hi. Right. OK. This is Dennis Till. He's wanted for blackmail, extortion and aggravated burglary. He assaulted Graham Wells and the manager of the Narcissus Gym. And he raped Dr Walker. Now, we need to get to him before he adds any more to his list. Dr Walker's still missing. We've circulated his description, so hopefully it won't be too long before we find him. We've got Till's address and DS Hunter, DC Sharp, myself will be at the Obo on the house. OK, Nick and Cameron, you'll assist DS McAllister at the back of the house. DS Hunter will be at the front of the house. The rapid entry team will be deployed. Now, I'm sure I don't need to emphasise how dangerous this guy is. He's a user. Steroids. You all got that? Good. Hello? Where are you? There are a lot of people very worried about you. I know. I'm sorry. Rebecca's going out of her mind. I just don't know what to do. You sure that's wise? You can stop this. You can stop this here and now. Or you can climb into that bottle and drown yourself. It's your decision. Tell me how, Sergeant. I'm all ears. You know how. Go to court. That'll make it all go away, will it? Nothing's going to make this go away. But if you accept what's happened, I'm sure it'll make it a little easier for you to deal with. Had you done it before? Been with a man. <laughs> well, it was a mad impulse, really. I agreed to meet him at the hotel. Thought it was what I wanted. But when it came to it, I couldn't go through with it. What changed your mind? Rebecca. What I had. What I'd lose. I tried to leave the hotel room, but he lost it. Said he was the boss. Said he hated married men. He started hitting me. I managed to get out of the room, I ran to the tube, and when I got there, I 
realize I left my wallet and my keys. Why did he want to hurt you so much? I could have been worse. How? He could have killed me. Why do you think he did it? To prove he could. We'll find this man. If you do, it means I have to stand in court, doesn't it, Sergeant? With him. I don't want to face him there or anywhere else. I want to forget it ever happened. Imagine what I'd have to say and the reaction that would get. Half the jury would be thinking I should have been able to stop him. The other half would think I deserved everything I got. Julian. Sergeant, please, don't ask me to go to court. Suspect's entered the building. Yeah, I can see him in the kitchen. All right, go, go. Go, go. you to finish your shift. I was just about to. I'll get another officer to help. No. He's been with me from the start. I thought he might like to see it through to the end. This way. I've decided to prosecute for rape. I'll give a full statement, tell you everything you need to know. Are you sure that's what you want to do? It's the only thing I can do. What made you change your mind? You. And the fact that if I don't speak up, someone else could find themselves in my position. Why should they pay for my mistake? Besides, my wife's in a state. Friends will avoid me. What am I going to do?
What are you looking at? I was just thinking the same thing. Dr Walker's given a statement and he will be prosecuting. Got what you wanted in the end, eh? Oh, yeah. Just what I wanted. This is Dennis Till. He was arrested by DS McAllister at his home address for aggravated burglary. Honey, yeah, there isn't any chance you could give me a lift to my car, could you? Sorry, Sarge. Full load. Boys' night out. Checking out that new wine bar on Larkhill Street. You don't fancy it, do you? Uh, no, no, fancy an early night. Thanks. All right, Gabriel. Good night. I'll see you there, honey. See ya. Here. The round's on me if you're up for it. Oh, I'm not in the mood, mate. Got a result there, Sarge. Nice one. You're drunk. Let's talk about it some other time. Oh, that's right, isn't it, Junie? I'm drunk oh, and you're I perfect. I'm not talking to you when you're in this state. Always looking down your nose at me. Always sneering at me. Don't flatter yourself, Marie. You go near my husband one more You assault a police <laughs> officer and you will end up in the cells. You right? don't think it's a very I'm good idea. I will rip your face go off. Go home, Marie, or I'm warning you, you will regret it. Satisfied, bitch. Next time on the bill. Have you ever had sex with any of your pupils? No, that would be ungentle of me to say. Tell them to give me some money. Have you ever had your child banging on the door, begging for money to fill his arm with poison? No. Take a reality check, love. You've lost the plot.